Are we given a job in heaven? The answer to that is yes. Now, when we say job and work, usually there's a bad connotation. Some people have such a passion and zeal for their work, they're blessed to do what they love. But for many people, unfortunately, that's not the case. And so the job in heaven is going to be much different than down here because many times we have to wake up, we hit our alarm, we're tired, we don't really feel motivated to go to work. Work is just kind of a drag, it's a mundane thing, it's a responsibility, but there's no joy or passion behind it. And so work in heaven is different from here. Work in heaven is perfect, there's purpose, it's done in peace, there's no need to rush because we know Satan is the one is one who makes other people hurry and rush, whereas we know the Lord Jesus Christ is, uh, is the God of peace. We know that the Holy Spirit is the spirit of peace. And never was the Lord Jesus Christ in a hurry. He never was looking at the clock saying, oh my goodness, I'm late. He was never in a rush. And so we will have jobs in heaven. And we know this from scripture because scripture uh, tells us that we will judge angels. So that's one of the responsibilities we have. Uh, obviously, we know that every uh, one will have different responsibilities and there's a hierarchy in heaven. I like what Norman Geisler said. He said, all of us will have a cup overflowing in heaven, but not all of us will have the same size cup. Uh, the uh, 11 of the 12 disciples, right? Um, but the 12 disciples, because we know one is going to fill the spot of Judas, uh, they all are going to have immense reward and responsibility in heaven compared to the person that just got saved uh, within three days of dying. And that's just reality. That's just how it is. Um, so there are different uh, hier hierarchies and different responsibilities in heaven. And all of us will have work to do. We'll have a job to do, but we need to not place it with the same connotation as here. Because the jobs there, the preachers might uh, you know, preach on uh, new messages given by God. Teachers uh, will be able to teach on new attributes of God that have never been discussed. Uh, those who are creative and painters, maybe people will be able to paint uh, the sky a certain color. God will give them the capability of doing that. Uh, architects will be able to plan out with elements we haven't even seen, certain beautiful aspects to heaven. Of course, God's going to make a new heaven and new earth, earth but, uh, but heaven and the new earth is ever increasing. God is infinite, so we're always going to be growing and learning and doing more, and God's gonna give us responsibility. We'll never be tired of it, we'll never be bored of it, and we uh, will be able to just dwell in heaven with joy, uh, working, again, never growing tired, never needing a nap, uh, never needing food to energize us. We're always gonna be in perfection with no more suffering, fullness of joy, ever increasing joy and peace. So. Will we be given jobs in heaven? The answer to that is yes, but it's not like in this life. It's going to be perfect in the afterlife. And may we just uh, pray that all will come to know the one true God by believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repenting of their sins, that they may become born again, be saved from their sin and hell, and enter into a living relationship with the King of kings and Lord of lords and have heaven as their hope on that uh, wonderful day where God will judge the living and the dead. May all come to know him.